Hello, my friends. Uh, this is going to be a rather quick video of some things I've seen over the last couple weeks. Um, been incredibly busy just with things going on here. Um, but the world is still turning just as it has been for the last many decades, uh, just as it always has been for the last 2,000 years. The world is still turning. Um, everything being the same, you have the same things that always happen throughout humanity, but there is a change coming because it, this, this same reality that we've always noticed, that we've always known since we were all born into the world, it, in one moment that all comes to a halt. Um, everything else from that moment forward is the change. And that's what those who know the Lord are looking for, um, and those who are of the world know nothing about it. Uh, Jesus spoke everything that he spoke about exactly as the end times would look. That is what we're living in. And some of the things that, that he spoke of, one of the biggest being the deception in the end times. I often keep updated on here uh, the things that I see the world doing, the things that I see the church doing um, that show that they have no idea who he is. And one of these biggest things are the economy that the world, that the church, has produced. I mentioned in the last video that I made um, that the church runs its own kind of economy. Um, they, they speak in a voice that they believe to be the Father's, and they speak it to each other back and forth, receiving praise for those messages. And the messages are not the Lord, they've become their own voice. Well, the world has done exactly the same thing, and both the church and the world have united to a certain extent um, with certain things, such as believing that there's going to be a way out of what's coming other than by the Lord. Um, even members of the church, as they'll, they'll, they'll call themselves, they often talk about stocking up and getting supplied. Um, truth has become an economy in itself where it's bought and sold people people will say hey i will give you the truth you go to my youtube and subscribe to my channel um, you go to my patreon and subscribe to my patreon and i'll give you the truth this person over here says well i have the truth go to my website and i'll give this truth to you then this person over there says well i have the truth here it is um, watch the ads in my video and you'll receive this truth. They're buying and selling everything that's pieces of knowledge or understanding, but they're all doing it under their own terms. They don't know the Lord, so the, the truth that they're buying and selling with each other ends up being completely useless because they're fighting a battle of flesh rather than trying to fight the battle that we're born to fight, which is in the spirit. The flesh worries and has concerns about these things is the spirit knows the truth it doesn't need to go searching and buying and selling it it doesn't live in the same economy that the world has built up with truth we live outside of that our knowledge comes directly from the spirit from the lord and we know that voice but they all gather together and they're they're talking about you know getting prepared and getting stocked up on food and ammunition and get your bunkers ready and all of these kinds of things and there is not one single thing that any human being on this earth is going to do to prepare them whenever that moment comes that the world stops turning as it always has. Nothing is going to prevent what happens from that point forward because it's not a battle of flesh. It's a battle between God and the devil and we're the prisoners trapped in between it and we have to pick a side which one we're going to follow. That's the reality of the end times. It's a battle that we don't fight because it's not our war. It's between God and Satan. But we, being who we are and in the position that we are in, have the ability to be God's children. So thus we know our Father, we know that voice, and we run to Him who rescues as the world will run the opposite way right to their destruction. It is evident that if you read Deut Deuteronomy chapter 28, you can literally see what is happening in the world today. You saw the blessing that the West used to have in chapter 28 outlined in the very first passages, and then you see the curse that's now on the West in the second half of the passages. Talking right about everything with, with what we see happening with monkeypox, for instance. Well, the boils of Egypt breaking out in sores on the body. It's all discussed in Deuteronomy chapter 28 because God 
the period of grace has en or is on its way to end, and thus the law returns to replace the grace. That's why the temple is rebuilt in the times of the end. Once the great tribulations happen, the temple must be built because law returns and law is the lesser way. It's the way of destruction. Grace is the way of salvation. Grace is the way to the millennial kingdom. Grace is the way to that 1,000 year reign with Christ being changed being still flesh and blood, but being perfect flesh and blood that doesn't decay or die. That's the millennial run. And we see law replacing grace because of the economies that have been built that are based off of lies and truths. They build these economies and they share and they buy and sell information from each other. Do you know all of these YouTubers that you see out there, especially the worldly ones, do you know what they are? They're gossipers. They're not giving you truth. They're not teaching you anything. They're gossiping about what is happening. And in the end times, what does God say that the men will become? Slanderers, gossipers. And you see it right in front of your very eyes. Everybody that you listen to, they're gossiping. They don't even know what's happening because they have no understanding of the Lord. They don't know Him. So what are they doing in its place? They're making their own voice of the Father and selling it to people who will buy it. And you know who buys these things? People that do not know the Lord because they're trying to search for this knowledge and information that they can't seem to find. But they're willing to pay for it because they know that there's something wrong, but they don't know how to get it because every time they pay for something, they're never fulfilled by it. It's just like somebody who has an insatiable appetite. No matter how much food they buy and set in front of them and they eat it, they never get full. And that's the world that we live in as far as the economy of truth is concerned. There is none out there that you can buy. Right now, the only truth comes and it's free and it's from God. And you will know everybody and everything that you listen to based upon the spirit where you don't need to go and ask somebody what you need to buy and sell. And you could say, well, yeah, I'm doing the same thing here. I'm speaking a message. I'm not selling it. I'm communicating what I've been giving and I'm sharing these things so that somebody could hear this and recognize what I say is different from what the other people are all saying. And the Lord says that you walk in a narrow path. It makes sense that all of them out there are going to be walking in a broad path even though they think they're in a narrow path because they don't understand just how narrow the path is because they didn't listen to the Lord. They didn't understand that seven people were saved from the flood. They didn't understand that only Lot's immediate family was saved from the fire. So it is in the end time. There is only 144,000 people who are changed in the twinkling of an eye. There are many more of our long lost dead relatives that will go up into the air and go into the millennial kingdom than will be who is alive on this earth today, whenever that moment of time comes. So my friends, whenever you hear all of these videos, you must listen to them because you must understand what is happening in the world. You're set to be the eyes of the Lord. You who know the Lord are His body. You see what happens in the world and He reacts based upon your own eyes. We have a shared responsibility, all of us who actually know Him. Through us, He understands when it's time to act. He understands what needs to be done through our eyes because we're a combined spirit and flesh. Whenever he gave up his body 2,000 years ago, the church became his body on the earth, which means his spirit is indwelled in us who know him, and thus we are his eyes. What we see is his ability to act and know when it's time to pull the trigger and know when it's time to fade off back into the shadows, which Jesus explained this by his own works 2,000 years ago when the Pharisees were trying to trap him and condemn him and kill him before his time came. What did Jesus do? He went off and away and they were not able to find him. It's the same exact thing that the church is doing right now. We are protected and saved until the time comes that we are ready to ascend. So don't let anybody ever tell you with their gossip that 
you must do this or you must do that to prepare or here's the truth I'm going to sell it to you go ahead and buy it from me and you will then know it don't let anyone ever tell you any of those things because none of those things are needed for you the only thing that's needed for you is free and it comes from the Lord the buyers and the sellers they will go out and try to buy and sell even right after the rapture But there's not going to be any oil left for them because the Lord never knew them because they kept trying to fight the battle of flesh rather than let the Lord fight the battle in the spirit against the devil who has condemned us and imprisoned us while Jesus gave us the way out of this. God bless.